I can't find a pulse. This dinosaur must be extinct. Quick, I need 10 cc's of maple syrup, stat, and a lemonade drip. Hi kids, Dr. Sarah, back at the Children's Museum of South Bend. Today, we're in the play lab. We're gonna learn about organisms. An organism is any living thing. Plants, animals, and even you are organisms. We're gonna plant some green bean seeds, listen to some book recommendations, and then we're gonna learn about an adaptation that keeps some animals nice and warm during cold weather. So you ready to plant those beans, Natalie? I sure am, got the beans right here. Great, did you bring the seed starters? The what? The seed starters. The little cardboard things that we're gonna start the seeds in. Hey, guess I forgot those. That's right. okay, do you have any toilet paper tubes? Yeah, you know I always have toilet paper tubes. Check out my current stash. That's a lot of toilet paper tubes, Natalie. Well, it's been a rough week at our house. TMI. Okay, so we're going to take our toilet paper roll and then we're going to cut one inch slits about half an inch apart all along the bottom. Then we're going to fold the little flaps in and that's going to make a little pot for us to plant our seeds in. And that's it? That's it. Hmm. And I've got the soil right here. Natalie, that's sand. Plants don't really grow very well in sand. Well, do you see green beans growing on the beach? No, but cactuses grow in sand. True, but we need potting soil. Okay. Did you bring the potting soil? No, this is what I thought you wanted me to bring. Oh, that's okay. I actually have some potting soil right here. Wait, you had that there the whole time? Yeah, I kind of figured you might forget. <laughs> Coming up, we've got Marielle and her dog Max. They're going to make some book recommendations for us on some of our favorite furry friends and botanical items. What does botanical mean? Plant related. Oh. Hi, I'm Marielle and this is Max. And today we have some book recommendations that we'd like to share with you. We're in the vet office at the Children's Museum of South Bend, so we have a lot of books about pets. The first one I'd like to tell you about is one of my very favorites called Boot and Shoe by Marla Frazee. This book is about two best friends who are dogs, but they get lost from each other in the yard. Check out this story in all of Marla Frazee's action illustrations for a laugh. You'll never believe how they find each other in the end. The next book I'd like to share with you is called Dogs by Emily Gravett. Emily loves dogs and she writes about all the dogs that she loves in this book. Big dogs, small dogs, all the different types of dogs. This book may even want inspire you to write a book about dogs at home. The next book I want to share with you is Max's very favorite book, and I bet you can guess why. It's called Max the Brave. It's actually about a cat who thinks that he can fight monsters. In this story, you'll laugh at all the ways that Max tries to fight off the monsters, and then you'll discover what happens when he discovers a mouse. And the last book I'd like to recommend to you is called Lola Plants a Garden. This book is inspired by the garden table in the back of the lab. In this story, Lola is inspired by a poem, so she researches how to plant the garden with her mom. You may be inspired to plant a garden yourself after reading this story. Max does not like being dressed up with bows because Max is a fearless kitten. Max is a brave kitten. Max is a kitten who chases mice. I'm back. Since I'm pretty much an expert on everything, kids are always asking me questions. Just the other day, a girl asked me how animals keep warm in cold weather. Well, instead of answering, I'm gonna show you through an experiment. 
You'll need a can of shortening, duct tape, two plastic Ziploc bags, and a bowl of ice water. First, you're gonna put about two cups of the shortening into one of the plastic bags. Then you take the empty plastic bag, put your hand in it, push it down into the one with the shortening, fold it over the top, and duct tape all around the edges to seal it in. It's gonna look something like this. On to our experiment. I'm gonna stick my hand in this bowl of ice water. Crazy, I know, right? Whew, that's cold. Let's try it with our bag of Crisco. I'm gonna stick my hand in there, then stick it down in the ice water. My hand's not cold at all. Wow. The shortening is like blubber. Blubber is a layer of fat that animals have. It can be up to four and a half inches thick. That's a nice winter coat. Doctor Sarah, your patient is here. But I'm not a real doctor. Oh, uh, gotta go. Join us next week for some delicious snacks in the food truck.